Welcome back everyone to another Thomas Wooden Railway discussion and today we're going to take a look at Stepney the Bluebell Engine. Um, kind of like Bush in a sense who I just reviewed, I believe that Stepney is horribly underused in the TV series. I find Stepney um, a really interesting character and I admire his background, well actually his two backgrounds in fact. And so, um, but I don't run hit entertainment of course and so I can't make that decision but I would love to see Stepney in more episodes. Um, the reason I said Stepney has two backgrounds is because, in fact, he has a biography for both the Railway series and the TV series. In the Railway series, Stepney comes to the island, or comes to the Sodor Railway, excuse me, um, just as a visit. Nothing more. Um, I think he just wants to see what it's all about. And Stepney enjoys his time on the Sodor Railway. Um, among other stories, um, probably the one he's best remembered for is the story Bold Out, which was later made um, into an episode in the TV series. Um, the story goes that um, Stepney and Duck are able to pull the special train when Diesel 261, the diesel, you know, bowler, whatever you want to call him, isn't able to pull the train. And I really like that Thomas and Friends story a lot. It's really cool. Um, following that story in the TV series, Stepney um, tells everyone that he's going back to the Blue Well Railway, but he'll be, but he'll be back shortly. In the TV series, um, Stepney's origins are depicted as um, running away from scrap. He's saved by um, Rusty the Diesel, and Rusty takes him back to the, the Sodor Railway, and he works there for a little bit. And then he has his adventures, such as the events in the episode Bold Out, like I just said. And just off the top of my head, um, Train Stops Play, for example, another great episode. Um, and then from there, it's very unclear what Stepney does. Um, at the end of Bold Out, he says that he's leaving for the Bluebell Railway. Um, but then in the seasons following that, you know, Stepney pops up here and there. And so it's kind of unclear what, you know, he really does. Does he stay on the Sodor Railway? Does he go to the Bluebell Railway? Does he visit often? You know, where does he live? You know, which railway does he belong to? It's really confusing. And unfortunately, we don't have enough information to determine that. But, uh, but other than that, Stepney is a really interesting character, and like I said, I admire his story, and I wish he was using the TV series a lot more often. So, let's kick off this review with taking a look at this old style Stepney right here. Um, I bought this Stepney um, to prepare for um, the review I was going to do on this item, because um, I wanted to compare the two Stepneys. Um, Stepney, Stepney was just one of those engines as a kid I just never got for some reason, you know. Um, they're different for everybody, and I just never got Stepney. So um, I'm actually very impressed with this old model. Um, it's very nice. It looks a lot like Stepney does in the TV series, and that's what you want with these old models. You want them to look like what they do in the TV series. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just my model, and people who have all, old, other old-style Stepneys can um, explain this to me, but... For some reason, the paint work, not like this color paint, but the lines and the name Stepney and the number 55, they just look a little bit, I don't know, just a little bit sloppy in a sense. Um, I'll show you guys the other side, see if you can get my meaning. Um, I don't know what it is, maybe I'm just seeing things wrong, but um, I don't even know if it was done on purpose, but somewhere, to me, somewhere along the line, um, maybe a little bit of paint work got a little bit out of hand. Um, it kind of looks like they tried to touch it up. Not the seller, but like the people in China who um, help manufacture these things. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but um, I'm a little bit disappointed in just kind of the artwork here and the paint. It seems just a little bit sloppy to me. The best part about Stepney is his face, obviously. He's a happy, cheerful, bubbly sort of engine who really enjoys his work. Um... And he wants to be a really useful engine. Stepney is, you know, Stepney is the ultimate really useful engine. That's what I like. Um, another great part of Stepney is his paint color, you know. Um, there are blue engines on the Isle of the Soda. There are green engines, you know, and contrary to what James thinks, but yes, there are other red engines on the Island of Sodor. But there's nobody else quite like Stepney here, and that's what I think is really cool about him. He's not yellow. He's not orange. He's kind of somewhere in between. I just call him a tan, but that's a really nice color. And um, the red paint, the red and green paint on the side here is really nice. Um, no name on the bottom, but it's dated, it's dated 1996. I believe that's the first year that Stepney came out. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, he has just a you know nice, simple wooden dome like all the other engines from this time do. And you know what? That's really it for Stepney. He's um he's a nice model, and I think the best part about this model is that he looks like he does in the TV series, and that's what we're hoping for in these wooden railway models. So, 
Um, now let's take a look at the model you guys are used to in my series. This is the Stepney that has been used since day one. In fact, the second episode of my series was called Stepney's Problem. This Stepney is a little bit different, and um, I don't know what it is, but I just do not like this model. I think it's part of it's the face. The face looks nothing like, although he's still happy, he looks kind of evil. I mean, I don't even know if Stepney can be evil because he's such a nice engine, but there's just something about it that I don't like. I feel like this model is a lot, I don't know, like stocky, I guess is the word. It's just stocky. Seems like they try to cram in a lot of stuff in such a small model. Um, the paintwork here, I believe the paintwork's a lot nicer. It's a lot cleaner. Um, I like this. The 55 is really nice right there. And um, like I said, the, the green stripes are a nice touch. Um, let's flip it over here. Same deal. Um... As far as I can tell, the paint on this Stepney is a little bit darker, as in this tan color. It's a little bit darker, but nothing much, nothing on the back. Um, underneath, it just says Stepney. I got my Stepney in the Thomasaurus Rex set. Um, it wasn't sold for a really long time. I believe it was a Toys R Us exclusive. But I don't ever remember this Stepney being sold by itself in stores, or at least I never saw this Stepney sold in stores by itself. So when I saw the Thomasaurus Rex set, I immediately jumped on it because I, like I said, Stepney was just one of those engines that I was never able to get, and I wanted him. So, you know what, this, this model of Stepney is, I like the added detail and the fact that it looks a lot cleaner, but the face is a big letdown. And, I mean, let me just pick up this mo other model, Stepney, right here. Look how everything's just kind of nice. I mean, he looks like a very fast engine. You could see him rushing down the railway. But in this, he just kind of looks really stocky. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I hope it's not. Um, yeah, I don't really know, like, what it is. But there's just something about these two models that they're really nice. I think this is a really nice model. But this one is, without a doubt, much, much better. Um, without a doubt. Um, so now comes the interesting part of the video that I've never done in any previous Thomas Wynn Railway discussion um, before. And that is, um, I'm faced with an awkward predicament here because um, I've used the Stepney on the left in my series since the beginning. Like I said, the second episode of my series was called Stepney's Problem. And, you know, I tried using the old style models in season 8 of my series and that didn't turn out really well. Um, I didn't like, you know, using the old style versions of Thomas and Henry at all. In fact, you know, that's why I went back to, to the regular models in Season 9. And even though I've used the Stepney on the left since the beginning, I really, really, really like the model on the right. I feel like it is a great, great Thomas Wynn Railway model. And so, I'm asking you, the fans, which model do you think I should use in my series? So, here are the pros and cons. Let's start with the old style Stepney. It's a great model. It looks just like it does in the TV series, but I guess the problem is is that it has not been used in my series since the beginning, and I'm a, I really don't want to introduce Stepney in possibly you know season 11, and then have to go back to him for seasons 12 and be back to the old Stepney, or back sorry back to the new Stepney, aka the one from the Thomasaurus Rex set. I don't want to, have to go back to him in season 12 like I did with Thomas and Henry in seasons 8 and 9. Uh, the Stepney on the left. Of course, I've used in my series since the beginning. You guys can easily recognize them. But compared to this new model that I've just got, it do, it's not a good model. I do not like um, this old model on the left or this new model on the left at all compared to the old model on the right. So, like I said, I'm faced with a problem. and I want to hear what you guys think. And when you guys give your explanation or you guys tell me what I should do, please leave an explanation and tell me why. Just don't say old Stepney, new Stepney, or something like that. Please explain to me why. And you know what? You guys have the opportunity to kind of determine things here at Geekgrade 24 Studios. Which Stepney is going to appear in Season 11? It's up to you guys. Um, but back to the review. Stepney is a great item. Um, on an A to an F, I give the one on the right a solid A. It's a great model. But the one on the the left, the newer style, the newer style model, um, I'd probably give it about a C. It just missed the mark somewhere between the face and the style of the model and everything. But it's still it's still a good model. I think you should get Stepney. He's um, I think well I think you should get him, but you don't have to get him. I'll just leave it at that right there. So once again, I've talked far too long about a Thomas Wynn Railway model, but thanks for hanging around, everybody. Of course, more Thomas Wynn Railway discussions are coming around the track, so just hang on tight here at Keycroy24 Studios. Um, thanks for watching this video, and I hope to see you back here for more.